Hi there, welcome to Elm Colors. I'm Erica, and today is my weekend whip. Um, I do have a little bit of show and tell to do this morning as well. Um, so let's get started. I've got my tea here. I'm gonna go ahead and take a sip of that. It's that same lovely cinnamon tea, hot cinnamon tea by Harney and Sons, which I will link in the description. Um, so first, my daughter had asked me to share her coloring page that she did. She's been coloring in this Fedorables coloring book by Selena Fennick, which is an adorable book. And she did this page. And she was so proud of it. And she's got like um, a little bit of shading on the wings. And she's got the little cheeks. She was really proud of this. So I told her I would share. She's also on a couple of the stars, done a little bit of an outline. So, so yeah, there's her, her cute page. <laughs> um, and then the other show and tell stuff I have is my, is from me. I, last weekend I had a scrapbooking day. This will only take a couple of minutes. So if you're just here for the coloring, you can just kind of fast forward through this part. But um, I do want to share some of my stuff. So this is my first page. Um, None of these are completely done yet, unfortunately. I do have to add in like my journaling and stuff here. Um, but yeah, so here's here's the first page. I use like a watercolor in the background and lots of fun little embellishments. There's one. I'll go through these pretty quickly. Here's another one. This one is another one where I did like a fun watercolor thing in the background. Um, and then I have this one, which was really fun. And then the last one I have is like a two page layout, which is not gonna fit on here, but, so I'll show you this one first. My little face is painted. This page was, or this picture was so long ago. And then this is the second in that, in that layout. So that's kind of what they look like side by side, but. Yeah, I really, I really had a good time last Sunday doing this, so I wanted to share a little bit. Okay, so today we're going to be coloring in Magical Fairies. I have this long-standing whip that I figured I should probably finish, and it's at perfect timing since it's going to be St. Patrick's Day soon. And I have used Arteza pencils on this. Um... I'm almost done. I don't know why I never went back to just finish it really quick. So I think today I'll work on some of the, I'll work on her wings, a little bit more on her dress probably. Yeah, and uh, we'll work on that together. I really need to re-swatch <laughs> re my Arteza pencils because this is, this is all I've got. Oh, and I did do um, the I don't know if if you haven't seen the issues that people were having with the Arteza pencils. I know there's lots of videos out there, but basically, um, it was when you add water that the color spreads unbelievably. Like this looks almost like a watercolor pencil. Like it shouldn't spread quite that much. Like a little bit of color transfer is is normal, but that much is just is too much. It doesn't bother me, and I will continue to use these Arteza pencils because I'm not overly worried about it. Basically, that's what it boils down to. So, um, so yeah, so I will continue to use my Arteza pencils. Okay, so we've got wings to do. Um, I did color the inside of the wings, the same color as her dress, which I think think must have been I want to say this peach is in cream color but it might be the pink, pink macaroon color but I do want to add a little bit of shading in here so I'm going to add a little bit of the peony I think Ugh. Um, I don't know what color that is I think that might be the one I need uh, so this is another problem with the Arteza pencils. <laughs> I play with my pencils quite a bit as I'm coloring with them. They're, they're typically in my hand when I'm, it's a color that I'm using. 
So yeah, I tend to wear off the, the colors pretty quickly because I'll have pencils like this and I'll just kind of flip them around as I'm coloring. So I'm sure that didn't help in, <laughs> in the wearing off process, but um, I think, I can't remember who it was. It might have been the coloring diva had said that she puts a coat of clear nail polish on her pencils so that her names don't get worn off. I was like, that's a smart idea. Really smart. I did not do that, so now I can't see what half of my names are. Okay. I'm not really sure how much I want to add to this. I don't want it to be overly um, bright, but I do need a little bit of do need a little bit of color variation in there. Okay, so hi everybody. <laughs> I hope that you are having a good weekend so far and that you've had a nice week since we've spoken last. I have had a wonderful week. It was um, busier than a normal week for me, which actually was nice. So the biggest thing um, was my daughter's volleyball team was playing in the their tournament and they got all the way to the championship game but just barely lost that last game and they lost to a team that had only lost one set the entire year um, and they beat them the first set and then the second set was like it was within two points, and the third set was within three points. So they oh, they came so close, and they were so heartbroken. And all the girls were crying afterwards, and they're trying to take a picture of them with the runner-up trophy, and they're all just in tears. It's the saddest picture. <laughs> it's so sad. Um, but they've worked really, really hard this year. They've gotten so much better. Our coach has been fantastic. Um, she normally teaches the, or uh, coaches the older girls, so it's like uh, seventh and eighth grade girls is who she normally coaches. And I'm not sure why she decided to coach a younger team this year, but we were super thankful that she did and um, helped our girls really, really improve. Um, Yeah, they, and they're going to have a party, too, to celebrate their awesome year because they've worked so hard. Um, so lots of, lots of games, lots of practices this past week, but they, they had fun doing it. So, um, yeah, so that was, that was interesting. Um, also this week, the other big thing was it was my husband and I's 20th wedding anniversary. Um, which I, I said this to someone else. It seems like it's been forever and there's no way it's been 20 years. <laughs> it's just, it's crazy to think that, it, that 20 years has gone by. Just super crazy. Um, I did post on Instagram on my coloring page a picture that I colored um, for our anniversary and I used the colors that were in my wedding so I thought it turned out pretty cute. Um, yeah, we got to, there was a volleyball game that night so <laughs> we didn't really like spend the whole night by ourselves but we did um, after the game, dropped the kids off, and we headed out and went and had a bite to eat at one of our favorite um, pizza places. We're not super fancy people, so pizza is just fine for me for my 20th anniversary. I had a pizza and a beer, and I was good to go. Um, and we just had the best conversation. We were laughing with each other all evening. Just a great day. 
yeah, and the girls had won that day, so we were in a good mood for that, too. Um, yeah, so that was a good thing. And then um, another of my friends, um, for her, her birthday was Friday, and she turned 50. Um, so she decided that she was going to go out to this beautiful place and celebrate and invited me to go with her. So that was really fun. It's this place called um, Cake Bake Shop. Um, and I guess a few years ago, Oprah had mentioned that it was one of her favorite things. And then I guess the, the lady who runs the place was invited to... Um, I think she was asked to make like cakes for like the Oscars or I'm I'm not sure exactly. I wasn't up on the the whole place, but my friend was super excited. Um but yeah, it was it was a beautiful place. It was really fun. Of course the cake was phenomenal. Um I had a um lemon blueberry cake. And it's a three layer cake. So you get it, and it's like three pieces of cake just stacked right on top of each other. And it was, it was really good. I had to eat it over a couple of days, though. And then my daughter helped me eat the last section of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was really nice. Um, and then what else happened this week? Oh, well, the weather's been really nice around here, which has been good. I mean, I know it's March, and it's supposed to be getting into springtime anyway, but I don't know. I, I was just ready for it to be still be cold and snowy for a while. I'm going to turn my page here. Um... But yeah, the weather's been really nice, so we've been getting outside a little bit. Yesterday, we were all outside playing volleyball, and uh, today, <laughs> I can't move my arms very well, which I was not um, expecting. I mean, I know I'm getting older, and I don't move as much as I used to, but we were literally just hitting the ball around in the front yard, and I... <laughs> I was just in pain last night and this morning. So that was a nice, that was a nice getting older surprise today. Um, I think I am going to start doing some yoga again. Because once I, when I was doing that, I mean, even just, and it doesn't have to be like super strenuous yoga, but even just the moving and the stretching, it helps so much. So I'm definitely going to get back into doing that. And I just felt better when I did it. I'm not even sure why I stopped doing it in the first place, but. Yeah, I really want to get back into that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna take another sip of tea here. All right, that, that was better, okay. Um, so what else, what else, what else? Yeah, this is another day where I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants here with what to talk about because I'm not, I'm not overly sure <laughs> what to talk about. Oh, I do have another, um, so I do have another list of things that I could talk about. So the, um, I think it was Emma Colors 2020. She did a, um, a coloring tag video that was um, coloring discoveries of 2020. And since it's March, I decided that I probably shouldn't <laughs> try to do that video. But I could answer some of the questions um, while we're while we're coloring in this page here. I can't. I think there's one where it says to show your favorite 
pages, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that today. Um so let's see. The first thing that she had on her list was five new coloring supply purchases. Um I made quite a few purchases um this past year. We'll just do it in this past year for me. So the first one was my Helix sharpener, which I'm in love with. And actually I'm gonna use right now because my <laughs> my pink macaron is running light. It's so cool. I love this pen this sharpener so much. Um actually I'm gonna do this one as well. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, so yeah, so the pencil sharpener is probably the one of my favorite purchases. Um, I did purchase a couple different brands of pencils this last year. Um, I had, let's see, I had the um, Prismacolors and Polychromos. I already had all of those. Um, actually, I lied. I didn't have all of those. I had a selection of each. And then this past year for Christmas, um, I got the entire sets. So that was fun. Um, I got the whole, what is it, 150 of Prismacolor. And then whatever the full one of Polychromos is. Um, and I had a slight heart attack when I bought those because <laughs> I've never spent that much on pencils. Um, but I'm really loving all of the colors and stuff in that one. Um, I also bought, let's see, a few budget brands that I got this past year. I got the Giotto Still, Giotto Still Novo pencils. Those ones are really good ones. Um, I really like the vibrancy of the colors. They are very hard pencil, but super, super vibrant colors. They blend very well. And there's also a skin tone set that you can use as well. Um, let's see what else. What is another purchase? Um, I bought the whole set of Nouveau glitter markers, which I have recorded a video about, um, and I think I've talked about this before, but I'm just not, it might be one of the videos that gets released while I'm, <laughs> while I'm on spring break, um, because I do have to release some videos for that, and I do have several videos recorded and ready to go, um, but I don't want to record, you know, like release the same type of video every, every couple days, so. I do have a variety, oops, I do have a variety of different kinds of videos recorded and, and ready to go. So that one might be one of them. It's really just, it's really just a lesson in making sure that you try to do something before you get on camera. I don't know that I'm ever gonna follow that <laughs> exactly. I have a tendency to just jump in and just, just do it. Okay, how do I want to color this one? Because there's wonky lines. Let's color the inside of this part first. The really light layer right here. I think I'm just going to color this whole section even though that line is there. Yeah. Um, okay, and one more coloring supply. I think I went, I think that was five. Um, one more coloring supply would be the um, I did invest in several more of the Tim Holtz Distress Inks and some really cool brushes um, that I'm hoping to use in the Roy Davner um, Ink House book. So I think that'll be fun once I once I finally get up enough courage to color in it. I've seen some people do some amazing things. Zucchini Kitty is one and I 
I'm in awe of her talent with those distress inks. I, d I don't know how she did it before these brushes came out. Um, let's see, I think I might do one more section here in the pink on the swing. Um, yeah, so that, that would be five purchases. So five favorite book purchases of 2020, my goodness. Um, well, I did purchase all of the Erie books that are currently in press. I had all three of the Romantic Country, but I got, oh wait, no, not all of them. I still have one to get. I have, um, the Tracing Around the World, hmm. The geography one and then there's one that's like a history one I've gotten those two I don't have the festivals war I think that's what it is a festivals one I don't have that one yet um, but I do have the uh, world heritage um, maybe it's world heritage travel or something like that and I have the um, beyond the world fairy tales which I absolutely love. I love all of Aries books, but that one's really, really cute. Um, okay, I like that. So she's gonna have, these are all gonna be green, but I'm trying to decide what kind of green to make them. If I want them to be like, I think I want them to be kind of like this one down here. So it's gonna be probably some of that I'm gonna do, um, let's see, we've got the lime here. Um, let's do the spring green. And let's go for, let's do a, a matcha. There we go. All right, I'm gonna pause this so I can sharpen these really quick. 